Hello and welcome everybody, welcome to Anilin Games. Today we're playing Jurassic World Evolution 2, Campaign, Oregon. Or Oregon, I guess. I'm not sure. First reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control, but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International. So they're traveling south. Probably because of the weather. Agreed, they're migrating. But... What happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. Well, I, I don't think the pterodactyl will actually try to hit the plane, because plane is bigger if Owen and, and louder. If they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh, we also need an expedition center, and as you heard, time is not on our side. Oh, time is not on, on our side. Okay, okay, but this is first time that we get the aviary. Yes, this is the one thing that I was so excited about when they decided to add it in the game. It's kind of same like the like the normal enclosure. Where can we find them? Oh, in enclosures? Ooh, and we... We need to research them. Take me to the research. Here they are. Here they are. Okie dokie. So we are researching it. And uh, apparently, because this is a new campaign, our old lit research doesn't apply here, as you can see. Because we've researched this before. And here we had this. Just keep that in mind. Aviary is researched. Now we can work on it. Let's start with building one. Now away. Oh, wow. Wow, that's huge. Okay, I did not expect it to be that big. Uh huh, and that's how they snap. You see? We just have it close to the next one. Okay, that's done. And we need the expedition center also. Okie dokie, we can resupply this one. We don't run out of power. Okie dokie, we are end, done. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not so friendly skies. <laughs> let's do. Oh, we got an, another urgent alert. Incident alert. Local authorities have captured flying reptiles near. Oh, they have captured them already. We need to send a live capture team to collect them ASAP. We have captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes, in a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. I don't trust her. I didn't record it, but... Owen and Claire were talking about it that she is doing something shady and some animals were transported to the third uh, classified location. Well, I think there's something going on here. I just don't know what and I'm very curious. Our life capture is here. Five, five of them. Five pterodons. This looks very... Uh, oh. Okie dokie, did not expect this to be like this. And he'll just drop him in there. I'm not sure, but I think the ranger team needs to be assigned to this post. And you too. Okie dokie, that's good. We figured it out on our own. Now we just need to wait for them to be delivered. Ah, look, we've got one. Hello. Hey guys. Oh, we've got a drone in here. Have anyone seen the new Jurassic World movie? The third one, the Dominion? I have not yet. I will be going soon in the cinema. And I'm very curious what do you think about it. But don't spoil anything. Please do not spoil anything. Sound down in the comments down below what, what do you think about the movie and if you liked it. And while you're down in the comments, just, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to us. Oh. We have winter here. Look at the snow. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words. But just oh. the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm going to go with uh, quote predictable <laughs> last words instead. Dr. Malcolm, why Hi. are you contacting us? 
Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens. <laughs> it's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua. You're now <laughs> increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes. Yes, we do what we can. And sometimes more than we should. <laughs> Interesting times. And I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. yes. <laughs> Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. <laughs> it's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Yeah, okay, stay how's on that? Top of it. I'm like working on it, woman. Then push me. I've been thinking. When you think it makes me nervous. No, no, seriously. Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger? And he's concerned? Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. <laughs> For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Yeah, I believe the work in progress, no, okay? It's prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality. It's not it easy. Is. Not easy to work in here, okay? Oh yeah, they're happy now. Okay, we have enough of everything. They're happy. Yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. It's, it's sort of my thing. <laughs> is functioning as anticipated. We have uh, enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward ooh, soon. We're in a pipeline. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. Oh, we're getting them by, we by enclosing, enclosing we them. We have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance. Humanity versus the dinosaurs. And honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. <laughs> Definitely not humans. I would prefer dinosaurs to roam the world. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flop. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Can you please shut up? Seriously? I mean, he sometimes he he just. I would just like love to do something with him. Let's go get our new pterodactyl. The uh, new flyers. I think I'll go with Dimorphodons. They're cute. I know they're small, but they're cute. I don't know, I noticed something um, that I have not seen before. And this is this little meter right here. And if you click on it, it's Savage Dash. I guess if we push our scientists to their limits, they will be sabotaging us. Well, you know what happens with sabotaging, with people who sabotage us. They get raccooned. Life captures completed. Let's see how many uh, dimorphodons they captured. Six found and five were captured. Okie dokie. Let's get them more fish. And now we just need to wait for them to arrive. So I can see what uh, exactly they want. First one should be here any minute. Oh, here he is. Look at him. Ah, hi. Hey, buddy. How are you? What? Oh, you're lonely. 
Poor guy. Oh, you want sand. Open space, sand, water, they have everything. Let's see, uh... Uh-huh, yep, yeah, they have 100%. And let's see about our Pteranodonge. No, that's Dimorph. Pteranodonge. Looking for food, okay, I don't care about that. But I'm curious about... Cohabitation is okay. Fish, open space, rock, water. Yeah, they are, are all good. We need more. We need more um, species. Let's get those uh, Tropiognatuses. They look scary. And another life capture. How many did you capture? You captured three out of four. They really look scary. They also eat fish. Which is not a problem for us. Because they all have um, fish in there. Here he is. Hey buddy. How are you doing? How do you feel? Mm-hmm. Missing fish. I guess you're just blind. You have a lot of fish. Oh, you need forest? Okie dokie. We need some forest in here. Let's put it in this corner. I hope this is the one that they want. Okay, they have enough of everything. I think we have satisfied all of their needs. Oh, and also we completed the, uh, the task that we got. Now we just need to... Um, Wait for them. Wait, wait uh, one and a half minutes for to that their comfort is above eighty percent, and I think it should be. I'm not sure. Demophodon. Can I find some ptera, pterodactyl? Comfort is okay, and his comfort is okay too. Their cohabitation is like on a limit, but it's okay. It's okay. I know, but it's very funny like, if you look from here, how how, <laughs> how funny it looks like sand, forest, and then this is for pteros. <laughs> oh, that's it? Wow, such a quick mission. I mean, you have to wait for all the constructions and all, all the like uh, checking, but wow, that's a quick mission. We've completed the mission. That's it. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was very funny, something new and interesting. We sure will take a better look, I think, in the next mission. We'll see. But for next mission, you need to subscribe or you're gonna miss it. So please subscribe, like, and see ya in the next one. Bye bye.